Hi everyone! Subscribe, hit the like button, and write in the comments below which fixtures you're gonna watch today. And while you're typing your picks, we better proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch! Diego Simeone has taken the first place with most matches in charge of Atletico Madrid. Los Colchoneros La Liga clash against Sevilla was his 613th game at the club. West Ham United could sack David Moyes following their 4-0 defeat away to Brighton, Nicolas Kira informs. Chelsea just have to focus on the game. You can control what the noise is outside, Graham Potter said. I've been at Arsenal all my life. The goal against Bournemouth means a lot to me, Rhys Nelson told. I'm incredibly happy. It was just mad to beat Bournemouth like that, Mikel Arteta said. Arsenal won a Premier League game after finding themselves at least two goals down for the first time since February 2012. If you put seven or eight shot glasses in front of Nain Golan, he'll down them all. The former sporting director of AS Roma and Inter Milan, Walter Sabatini, noted. It was a very good experience to play with Messi, Mbappe and Neymar. But for me, the most crucial thing is to feel important in the team, Pablo Sarabia states. Jose Mourinho will be in the dugout for AS Roma's clash with Juventus, as his ban has been temporarily suspended. Billing's goal against Arsenal is the second fastest goal in Premier League history. Philip has found the net after just 9.11 seconds. Chelsea have scored their first goal in 397 minutes of football. The Blues' goal drought has been broken. Ederson recorded his 100th career Premier League clean sheet. Only Peter Cech and Pepe Reina have reached the milestone quicker than him. In the next few years, Newcastle will be a real threat to fight for the Premier League title, Pep Guardiola claimed. Leandro Trossard has picked up an injury during the battle against Bournemouth. He injured his leg and left the pitch in the 22nd minute, replaced by Emil Smith-Rowe. I'll be 27 on March 6th and can't just be a young player anymore, even if I still do sometimes, Timo Werner noted. James Milner could leave Liverpool in the summer, as his contract is expiring and it's currently unknown whether it will be extended or not. Arsenal are keen on signing Borussia Dortmund star Julian Brandt, according to Cut Offsite. I'm at Marseille to win and make people happy, Alexis Sanchez stated. Alice Verona defender Abu Dramane Diaby was arrested in Rome with drugs, La Gazzetta dello Sport notifies. In the next two weeks, Manchester United will meet with potential buyers of the club. We are talking about the Qatari sheikh Yassin bin Hamad bin Jaber Al Thani, who offered four and a half billion euros for 100% of Red Devil shares. Another potential buyer could be British billionaire Jim Radcliffe. Only a few more details are remaining to be wrapped up in contract renewal talks between Inter and Hakan Chalhanoglu. Yes, when I heard that Liverpool wanted to sign me, there was nobody else to decide on. This was the only one. Stefan Bajcicic was quoted by Mirror. Frankie de Jong is happy to be at Barcelona, however things could change next season, claims Jamie Jackson. We are very happy with Frank Cassier. He is showing a great level in attack and defense. His runs into the box are well-timed. He has had the necessary patience and the recent minutes are giving him the confidence to be important, Xavi has said. Barca have doubts about Inigo Martinez signing due to high salary. Royce Nelson has three goals and two assists in three appearances off the bench in the Premier League this season. We work a lot on the physical aspect. There are some players whose numbers are in the red. They are at their limit. We want to limit injuries. We need to have everything under control so that the players perform at their best, Xavi said ahead of the game against Valencia. We do not have a problem in attack. We suffer in the last two games, but a few days before that, we score five at Anfield, Ancelotti replied. Leo Messi has five goals in his last five Liga 1 games. Even when we win, the people are not satisfied. We have an advantage in the Copa del Rey semifinals, but I liked the Super Cup final more because we were dominant. I see that there has been a big fuss about it. And this is why Barca is the most difficult club in the world," Xavi said in the latest presser. Granit Xhaka on Mikel Arteta's pre-match methods I don't know where he's seen these type of games. We have almost every day a DJ on the training pitches putting some music. 
Marcus Rashford has scored 10 goals in his last 10 Premier League appearances for Man United. Should the Englishman find the target against Liverpool on Sunday, he will become the fourth United player to score in six consecutive league appearances, joining Ruud van Nistelrooy, Eric Cantona and Cristiano Ronaldo. Andres Christensen has fully recovered from his injury and is available to face Valencia in La Liga. Robert Lewandowski is already going through individual training. He will miss the tie against Valencia, but could be fit against Athletic Bilbao. Here you have it, the results of yesterday's fixtures. Moving on to the main news of the release. Let's have a brief rewind of yesterday's games. In Liga 1, PSG got a hard-fought 4-2 victory over Nantes. We would like to highlight Messi and Mbappe's goals. As for the Bundesliga, Bayern kept Dortmund at bay after beating Stuttgart 1-2. The accurate shots from De Ligt and Chupamating made the difference clear. Meanwhile, in Serie A, we saw Fiorentina's 2-1 triumph over AC Milan, with Luka Jovic slotting the winner. When talking about La Liga, we should definitely mention Atletico Madrid crushing Sevilla 6-1. Depay and Morata backed the praise each, while Griezmann and Carrasco also succeeded in having their names put on the score sheet with a goal per player. At last, we had Premier League, where Chelsea dealt with Leeds with a minimal difference thanks to Fafana's header. Wolverhampton shockingly outplayed Tottenham 1-0, Brighton thrashed West Ham 4-0, Man City took three points in an important tie versus Newcastle, which ended with 2-0. Foden and Bernardo saved the day for the Sky Blues. Still, the main event of the day saw Arsenal losing 0-2 to Bournemouth. Nevertheless, Mikel Arteta's side was able to turn things around thanks to strikes from Partey, White and Nelson. How can they not become champions after such victories? Alright, back to other news of the day. PSG forward Kylian Mbappe has become the club's all-time leading scorer. The footballer reached a special milestone in his outstanding career during the Liga 1 match week 26 duel against Nantes 4 2, making his 201st goal for the Red and Blues. Thus, the Frenchman surpassed Edinson Cavani, 200 goals, with Zlatan Ibrahimovic being in third place, 156 goals. 24-year-old Kylian Mbappe has been playing for PSG since 2018, making a total of 247 appearances in the French capital. PSG forward Lionel Messi opened up the scoring during the Liga 1 fixture against Nantes. It was the 1,000th goal he has either scored or assisted in his club career. The Argentinian made 841 a total of appearances for PSG and Barcelona, netting 701 goals and delivering 299 assists. The 35-year-old footballer played 29 matches for the Paris side this season, recording 18 goals and 16 assists. Manchester City midfielder Bernardo Silva could move to La Liga this summer, Sport S reports. Barcelona have identified the Portuguese as a priority summer transfer. Club president Joan Laporte is already working with the player's agent, Jorge Mendes, to seal the signing. Man City had no intention to let Bernardo out, though the citizens realize that this contract will end in 2025. There is a probability of the agreement not being extended, eventually letting their star leave as a free agent. The English site is asking 65 million euros for Silva services. Luckily, the mentioned sum is actually not much of a problem for Barcelona, but difficulties may still arise in the form of the salary cap. The midfielder currently earns 7 million euros after taxes at Manchester City camp. Lionel Messi has rejected PSG's offer to renew the contract, which is about to expire this summer, Levin Guardia notifies. According to the source, the parties have agreed to renew the deal even before the World Cup kickoff, though the Argentine refused to prolong the agreement further. About a week ago, the Parisians presented Messi with an official offer, however, La Pulga was not satisfied with its financial conditions. The club has reportedly offered the footballer a salary 30% lower than the current one. Folks, Check out the latest video on our Inside Football channel about Ronaldinho Jr.'s debut at Barcelona. Have a good time watching and see you in a bit.